Hi, I'm Eric DeMetto. Happy Halloween. Welcome back to Let's Play Cloud Barker's Undying. Let's get ourselves a scythe. And just figure out how. I think there's this lever we gotta pull. Yep, there it is. Yes! It is ours! This can't be good. That looks like our ectoplasm. Oh! Okay. Nice! We got a scythe! You can still cast magic. I find the scythe of the Celt to be quite a, quite a disturbing force. It's clear from the history of this weapon that it is particularly effective in exterminating the most heinous of entities. At times it seems to pull me in directions of combat, almost as if it's seeking pain and destruction. Wreaking havoc on my mana when in my hands for a long duration, it seems to replenish my health in particularly frenzied fighting. I have learned not to fear many things in my life, but there is something within this weapon that stirs a horror within me I cannot explain. I've got to get back to the get back to the present. So, oh, we're back in the ruined place? Nice, alright. Or oh, looked up the skeletons, by the way. Uh, just simply invoking will do the job and get rid of them. You don't have to kill them first. The Scythe of the Celt. Oh yeah, we got the golden key as well. We can open these doors. Maybe we can kill a boss finally. Five videos in. Won't budge. Why is the water hurting us? Prove this weapon.
you think that will help you? You are soon to draw your last breath. Oh, good water level. Oh, what? How? I didn't even. Ah, uh, you gotta tell me these things, game. It's never been a thing before. door without killing ourselves, ideally. Oh, here come some skeletons. I hate skeletons! Okay, I don't know what I'm doing anymore! 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 Okay, sorry, the skeletons make me panic because I have no way to deal with them. <laughs> you can't, shouldn't be able to throw things when you don't have arms, alright? That's not fair. This is stupid! This is stupid! Why can't I get in? Why can't I get in? Why can't I get in? Oh my god, I hate... Okay, let's try the other one then, maybe. Ugh, the skeletons go in the water too. Of course they fucking can, because I hate them! Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Not even bothering with you creatures!
<laughs> Skeletons make me stressed as hell. They're really, really a problem. <laughs> What did I do by hit by pulling that lever? Stuck. Another another war. Dear mo dear mother, I am almost complete. I have almost completed my internment here on the island. I've spent the bulk of the time making sure that the water supply to the monastery is proper. Monastery proper is sufficient. It gets cold and lonely down here in the huge chambers that contain the water storage cisterns. But I warm my heart with thoughts of you and Papa back at home. Pray for me that I might be allowed to remain here with the abbot who has showed me salvation. But also pray for some much needed rain, for our supplies of drinking water run short. Yours truly, truly, Brother Nathaniel. Do I have to open those? Probably. At least no more skeletons to worry about. I should be able to actually think. the answer uh what is the answer if that's not the answer what's the answer what's the answer what's the answer elizabeth quest you have no actual objectives for, um, hmm, hmm. all right all right all right all right stop that Get, that's really irritating it can't go through there so i'm stuck here forever yay i love it Okay, that popping in and out of the water thing is really, really, really frustrating. Do I have to go down there? Should I go down there? I don't know what to do, game. You haven't told me anything. Yeah, you better run. Hey, 
Elizabeth. Can you not see your quest is in vain? Don't you know what my quest is, so no. Lady, I don't know what quest you're talking about. I just like killing these things. Oh, that was funny. I'm just here to murder all your howlers. Is that so wrong? Thought so. Who's next? I got plenty for all of you. I appreciate the offering of blood. What else you got? How many more do I have to kill? Probably check the other directions too for more treasures. Well, ammunition and health packs, not really treasure, but you know what I mean. You ready to actually fight, Elizabeth?
Hadn't thought you were a coward, bitch. Ah, skeletons! When can I use it? I want to get rid of this thing. You want some, all right. You can have some. Serpent in the rainbow action. What have you done? You will pay for touching my Lisbeth, you have no idea what you've turned into. Why are you haunting your family so? I know what I am. I seek vengeance. I was cheated by Jeremiah, and he will die to finish what was begun. You have awoken the past, but you don't know how to stop it. We'll rend your bones and serve you to my pet. Oh, fuck skeletons! Okay, 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 okay. Well, maybe if you weren't a cheating whore. <laughs> fucking bitch. Also, yeah, you're summoning people? You're not worth my fucking time as a boss!
I don't usually even waste my time with bosses who summon a bunch of minions in as their strategy. Like, you're not worth it to me. You are below my fucking notice, you cheating whore. That... Get back here! Oh! Oh! No! 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 I don't want to deal with you anymore. Fucking run! Fucking run! Holy shit! It seems to be one of those never stop moving type situation boss fights! Please go away. Shit, decapitation. Someone must stop them. At first I thought these rituals were but an extension of our faith, a show of story, uh, a show of glory for, to our maker, but to hear that fair maiden screaming for mercy. This cannot be what he would want for of his followers. I fear that some of the brothers have taken a disliking to me, l disliking to me as their eyes are averted and silence falls and enter a room. How could the abbot allow this to continue uncontested? Does he even know? So much troubles me, yet I fear if I attempt to return to the monastery to consult him, I might be the next one these madmen send on, a, on the journey to the hereafter. Ever faithful to the order, Brother Lawson. Whilst tracking Elizabeth, I came upon the matriarch of the Covenants, Evelyn. Her corpse was standing on what seemed to be that dying dining room table, humming echoes of a childhood lullaby. As I touched her arm, her body fell limp into her chair, lifeless. As if sensing her mother, Elizabeth entered the room and scolded me, the interloper, for interfering. I do not yet know the wickedness that has befallen my poor friend's family, and I feel it, and I feel it around every corner. Ooh, new spell. Haste. Thank you. New journal enters. A spell with a superb effect. When used, it gives me a limited burst of speed and agility, like a big cat racing along the Serengeti. I found that the spell may prove critical for overcoming obstacles or retreating from my foes. Between my teeth and drink deeply. The 
ritual will be complete. The king will arise and the very world will tremble. The family is to be reunited. You were saying. Alright, I did what I had to. I battled Elizabeth with all I had and narrowly, narrowly escaped with my life. Even in death she haunted me. As I carried her severed head to the cliffs she cursed me still in demonic tongues and belittled her own end. She said I cannot stop what has already begun. That the family will be reunited, that the king will arise once again. I cannot accept that my efforts are fruitless. I must repay my life debt to Jeremiah. I will do what I must. Climb the cliffs and return to the manor. Simple enough. I wonder who the king is. Maybe Rawhead Rex? Be really cool to have. Uh... Rawhead Rex is a boss in this. Well, why did you put platforming in your game then, you cheating cunt? Like, what's... Ugh. No. Ow. God, okay. Platforming should not exist when my feet don't exist. It, it seems basic knowledge. To ah! No, 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 not the bats! Not the bats on top of everything fucking else! Fucking bats. Can't believe I made it out of there. Better head back to the mainland. Okay. So we sl we slayed Elizabeth. Feels good to be back in the manor. The manor's nice, I like it. Stuck. Won't budge. Won't budge. Oh, what is it now? Oh, hello. Something was watching me. What? Outside, in the shrubbery. All I know is Jeremiah isn't paying me enough for this. I'm leaving. All right, it's up to you. You don't need to... I'm not your employer. You don't need to tell me you're quitting. I don't even know who the f what your name is, dude. Get him down. Look alive, he's here. New journal entry. Human enemies make sense to me. My Tranti brothers, the stranger must be stopped. Beware, he has skill. Remember the advice from the master in the east. Hence that general is skillful in attack whose opponent does not know what to defend. And he is skillful in defense whose opponent does not know what to attack. When the stranger is dead, return to me in the pirate co pirate's cove, Ambrose. Garden. 
Ah, greenhouse. What's inside the building? The old greenhouse, you mean? No one's been in there for ages. When Bethany was young, she used to be quite the gardener. Thank you. Oh, what the fuck are you? So we got plant monsters now. Brilliant. Phosphorus shells. New journal entry. Finally did it. I silenced Aaron. You will no longer belittle me or interfere with my research. This has released a great weight from my mind and allows me to pursue my studies in the silence of our ancestral home. As a memento, I have taken my dear brother's jaw. That source of constant ridicule will never again taunt me. His sway over me is broken. Unfortunately, I do not think he felt a thing. The fool was so deep in his stupor that he, he no doubt thought me a dream. It would seem that I am the last of the Covenant, since Aaron no longer troubles me, or himself for that matter. I find myself all alone. Jeremiah has not been heard from since he left for the war. It is better this way. I will now be able to complete what was started so many years ago on the Isle. It took well over twenty years for us to accept what, ha what we had done. I will be the one to finish the task and accept the legacy of this family. Bethany. Oh, they're back up. All right. Ah, you fucker! Get away from me! Phosphor shells. Okay, maybe flaming shotgun will deal with these guys. So Dragon's Breath Round seems the answer to these guys. I wonder what part of, her, of uh, Bethany's research was just living plant monsters that somehow bleed blood. Ooh, a key. Kitchen key. How do I get back into the house so I can use this kitchen key? Ah, like that. Well, I have 120 mana now. Cool. Probably from the mana well. Stuck. 
stuck. I need the workroom key too. Jammed. Jammed. I I don't know why, but right now I have a craving for ramen, like cheap, cheap ramen. Weird. The kind of stuff you get five pack, five, four or five packs for a dollar at Dollarama. Hello? Oh, you scared me. I didn't think I'd run into anyone at this hour. Likewise. So tell me, what do you know of Ambrose? Ambrose is the family secret they like to keep quiet. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, no one has ever directly told me, but everyone on staff knows that Ambrose killed his father. It's one of those family secrets they don't like to talk about. He killed Joseph? Yes. Seven years ago, in the game room. Even the authorities in town knew about the killing, but were slow to act upon it, since Ambrose was such a hellion. Throughout the county, Ambrose was known for his viciousness. Only a fool chose to stand in his way. Interesting. I take it they never caught him. He emerged after months of hiding to claim his inheritance. He barged into the manor and proceeded to take whatever he wanted. By the time the constables could arrive, Ambrose had fled the scene. They gave chase, but he escaped their pursuit by leaping off a cliff. A cliff? Never hesitated for a moment. Everyone thought him to be dead. Except... Except what? We'd hear stories of Ambrose sightings for years. In the States, the Orient, even in Prussia. We really didn't believe he was still alive. Until he came back and brought those heathens with him. The prodigal son returns. In so many words. I do hope I've helped you. You have indeed. Thanks. New journal entry. What I heard makes more sense now. The man I heard Ambrose attack was his own father. He actually murdered his own blood. A butler filled me in on a piece of the morbid covenant history. The family, townspeople and local authorities were afraid of Ambrose even after he had disappeared. When he finally returned to the estate, the constables gave chase and Ambrose was able to evade them by leaping from the cliffs to the ocean far below. Their fear of him when alive was nothing compared to the sightings of Ambrose following his deadly leap. Back from the de de back from the dead. It seems the black sheep has returned. Ooh, what the journal entry? <gasps> journal entry. Some things never change. One by one, my kin are dying. This pathetic excuse for a world is coming to an end. I write now only to pass the time waiting for the authorities to cease their search for my body. Looking back, I smile at the voices in my head that always said to keep the, this pirate's cove a secret. Had I shared my hideout with my siblings, the police would have shackled me up long ago. Instead, I am the hot-tempered black sheep covenant who leapt to his death to avoid capture. Only my childhood companion Connor knew of this lair, and he, sadly, didn't share my vision of things to come. Funny, even I thought watching the life pour from a friend would trigger some remorse or compassion in me, but such is not the case. 
This place is more of a home to me than my father's manor ever was. Long before I took this cove as my own, generations of thieves and smugglers found sanctuary here. Feeling their presence and guiding whispers drove me to unite with the Tsranti. Even the weakest sheep serves a purpose. Oh, the day comes close. Ambrose Covenant. Eleventh of May, nineteen fourteen. My father gave me this diary for my eighteenth birthday, just as he did for my eldest siblings. He thinks by forcing us into the same pathetic ritual he undertook as a young man, we will magically turn into responsible adults. Fifteenth of June, nineteen fourteen. Father is forcing me to use my journal. He watches me. He watches now across the library as I write. Self reflection is the key to enlightenment. He says. Rotten tripe. Soon I take leave to travel Europe and the Middle East. 14th of April, 1922. I have found my true brothers, the Tsaranti. They are a barbaric race, traveling the desert in search of battle. They neither fight for independence nor to subjugate. They fight because they hate. They have taught me how to use primitive but powerful weaponry. I return home soon, bringing my knowledge and some souvenirs with me. 3rd of May, 1922. I need to know what Father's been researching all these years. The old man has been negligent of everything else. I must know why this is so. I will sneak out to the Island of Standing Stones to discover a secret. I will need to be careful. The groundskeepers are loyal and will snitch on me if they have the chance. If they have half the chance. 4th of May, 1922. I'm sure I was spotted by one of my father's servants last night. I saw his lantern as I pulled the skiff from the dock. The island was a fool's errand. Hurled rocks and some barbaric chiseling were all I found. It would have been worthless if not for a twist of fortune. Not wanting to be seen, I risked the reefs and moored up the coast. There amongst the cliffs I discovered a mysterious cove. I am certain it is the hideout of my ancestors used long, so long ago. I'm excited to return and explore those caves. The secret will no doubt prove valuable to me. 21st of June, 1922. Today in the billiard room, Father confronted me about... Today in the billiard room, Father confronted me about my late night excursions. I did not realize that a stick could do such damage. I watched as his blood stained the floor and he begged me for mercy. I told the servants that Father's heart gave out and he hit his head while falling. My family is shocked. The funeral is tomorrow. Father always said self-reflection is the key to enlightenment. <laughs> Allow me to reflect on this day. How could I have saved my father from a slow, painful death? I could have hit him harder. 23rd of June, 1922. The constable is looking for me. He is suspicious. This may be my last entry in this journal, for I will not be caught alive. Since father's death, all fear has left me. Although the life I know the life I know is coming to an end, I feel as if I am about to begin anew. AC. DC. AC DC. Find the groundskeeper at the front gate. Cut a little furrows in it. That's cool. What the fuck are you? I just heard something. You cannot best that kind of stuff. Olay. Not only can I best you, Tsaranti, I know you said this a while ago. You must have a death wish. 
Oh, I cut you clean in half. You cannot best at her, Santi. I can take your head off, though. Stuck. The f I love that this weapon allows dismemberment and decapitation. It's really cool. It's gore. It's very bloody and. You should not do this to people in real life. But in a video game, it's fun. doesn't even know he's dead. Yeah. It's amazing. Ooh. <clears throat> so I think this will be the last of this video. Brother Tristran, Tristram has been acting very peculiar of late. He has not been seen for weeks, but I remember the afternoon when he began acting strangely. We are journeyed over to the mainland in order to secure supplies for the coming winter. Upon our return, Tristan came to me with a strange black book he had discovered while we were away. It seemed harmless, just a dusty old book with several strange runes as shown to across its bindings, but I could sense the unnatural power emanating from within. I urged him to show his discovery to the abbot, but he was hesitant. He said he must return to the mainland, to the caves where he found the book. He beseeched me to leave the monastery with him, to embark on a quest to find more relics of its power. I declined and have not seen him since. Lust for power is a most unfortunate vice. The tale above is from a curious document that was given to me by one of our, the old fishermen in town. I wonder if the artifact they refer to is the infamous Black Book, which is only whispered of behind closed doors in these parts. Supposedly, whoever was in possession of this book could gain mysterious powers. Rumor has it that the pirates were a blight on this region for so long because they wielded the power of the Black Book. Perhaps the book wasn't legendary. I wonder if it still exists today. Ooh. Ambrose probably has it, is my guess. Remember all the problem, all how much trouble the freaking ghost pre monk gave us when we were here last? We kill him and just keep multiplying. <laughs> Billiards rooms crying. Damn you, father. You will not tell me what to do. My head. What are you doing? I'm trying to set this family curse. If you cannot see that, then you don't deserve to live. Didn't see anything, but I heard plenty. An, an echo. Folks heard but not seen. That's the only way I can describe it. And yet that isn't accurate either. I heard Ambrose, the family disgrace, arguing with someone. And the distinct crack of timber. Like a billiards cue. He was clearly striking someone and referring to the family curse. Whomever it was, I don't think he need worry about a curse anymore. Who 
we got up here before we call it a stock. All right. I suppose with that. What's in here? Had something head. Oh, they have women now. I guess with that, I've been Merrick D'Amato, and happy Halloween. Ciao! Hi! Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!